Hey, Trench News, I got a question to ask you right quick, my nigga. I don't want to be on, like, what you tell her like to say. I don't want to be police and all that, bro, because I'm not you, Trench News, but I'm going to say this for educational purpose. My nigga, did you backdoor FDG Duck, bro? Because the attorneys of them over there could make the case look bad and say that you using a foul nigga that will do anything for money. That's what I guarantee the defense is going to use because I guess you the star witness, your Beyonce diva tell you loving this attention right now. You ain't even got no shame. You not even a regular rat that stand on business, bro. You an informant, meaning that you got paid to do what you did. You didn't give a fuck about the community. You don't give a damn about Duck. So I'm going to ask the question again because I'm hollering at a real nigga from Chicago that all of y'all know. I ain't going to say his name. And he told me the verdict is out on you. Nigga said you iffy with folks in them too, bro. So what's to you, homie? Like, your whole vibration is off. You you told so much stories on YouTube. Niggas done sent me clips. I'm like, hell no, I'm not about to make a video with the clip of this nigga, bro. I don't want them folks to come knocking on my door. And it's the dogs you done sent on a nigga, bro. I don't want Jake and them nowhere around me, bro. Like, no, nah, I told folks... Salute to you for watching my video. You've been rocking with me for four years, bro. I ain't doing it. It's a real nigga, too, that all of y'all know, bro. And I'm looking at the videos of the stories, bro. One time, you saying blase, but such and such folks called you right after they did the drill. I ain't going to get into that, bro. What, what's to you, bro? Nah, man, nigga, you knew this shit was getting caught up. You was playing games, rope of dopes with the feds in them or whatever, bro. And you knew this shit was going to come out one way or another, bro. So you knew years ago you was working with these folks for damn near 15 years or more. So it's better to be on YouTube picking a side. And the side that you pick was ducking them. But when you go to the tapes, niggas didn't know what was to you, bro. We don't know, like, you got this side over here, then you got this side. I got to ask the question, are you one of them snake-type niggas, bro, that placate on both sides, bro? You know, I'm not going to say too much because this could get folks caught up. Are you instigating beef in Chicago, my nigga? Everybody mad at, at DJ Academics. And they got their own reason to be mad at Academics. I ain't even mad at it. I agree with them. I agree with Chicago to being mad at Academics. But the real nigga that was getting niggas murked out here was niggas like you as far as with your content, bro. You revealed way too much information that folks going to go back to. Niggas going to be solving cases and everything and people giving you props like you for the community, like you trying to change the community. Real ones like us actually implement change in the community, but you come out here, you some hero? Nah, you's a coward, bro. You got caught up in your mess and it was eating you up every night. So on YouTube, you knew the information that nobody knew because who you was playing with. You had the cheat code and turned it to G code. Y'all ain't hear me. You had the cheat code and turned that whole to G code, bruh. Look at your vibrations, my nigga. Every time people bring it up how you helping duck and all that, bro, I'm disgusted by that. How the hell this man is helping duck, bro? And if he had this information and he was doing all that, why not already get help for, for duck from the start? But then again, you a 10-year plus informant. Who knows what's going on, bro? You like, son, you was there when K.I. got killed. You was there when Barney got killed. You was there when Lord Jesus Savior got killed. You was there when Queen Latifah got killed. Nigga, you everywhere when everybody get killed, bruh. When, when Lord Vader came through, nigga, you was there at his demise. Nigga, you just everywhere, nigga. How niggas didn't smell the cheese from your damn nose, bro? You everywhere, my nigga. And I don't got issues. Let's get this thing straight, bruh, because that was a clown in my earlier video. I support people supporting their communities and getting criminals out their communities. I got no issues with that, bro. I'm a father of a hundred kids, bro. Why would I care about niggas getting folks locked up to protect the community? The problem is the nigga y'all trying to make a hero spent his whole time on YouTube calling other motherfuckers rats and snitches. But I don't hear you bozos talking about how come he's for the violence of his community calling out snitches. Now all of a sudden when the shoes is on the other side, y'all capping for this man and making excuses for him. That man ain't no savior. He ain't no community activist. He taken from the community, causing people to crash out, writing some lame-ass book, How I Survived 
Chicago drill. Like, you the only nigga that survived that. It's a whole lot of motherfuckers out there surviving it. It's not a game. You exploited Chicago, bruh. Raise your hand if you gave back to the families of people who died in Chicago. I have. And I'm not even from that motherfucker, bruh. You from Chicago. Where's your organization get together? I done did organizations in Georgia and Florida, bruh. And we can keep going other ones we got coming up. Why you ain't got nothing like that going on in Chicago, bruh? You been exploring Chicago for everything and you so lame, bro. You got real thirsty groupies that support you. I feel like you ain't fair to them, bro. The least you could do is get on the camera and explain the whole Donatello mess, explain the situation you got. You ain't even a rat, bro. You a whole damn inf uh, informant, bro. You're an underpaid employee of the state, bruh. That's it, Jack. A underpaid employee of the nigga. Tw your soul cost $25,000? I know niggas was playing behind that full point of contact you got. They was opening and spreading that cheap like butter, butter, bruh. Not on biscuit. I can't believe it's not butter looking at a nigga, bruh. This nigga over here, bro. Nah, bruh. If I'm on my duck, bruh, I'm going to keep it a stack. I'm getting on. I'm, I'll be like, I'm glad this lame nigga helping my son get justice. But I'm also in the back of my mind, what role did you play in duck demise, bruh? Knowing all this and, and being in tune with what's going on. Because when you an informant, you an informant for life. Meaning, them folks always going to hit your lame ass up for information from 92. Information that happened in 2002, 2022. Them folks was been getting information and gathering it. And, and best believe, if a nigga like you is an informant and niggas around you not saying nothing about it, chances are, nigga... Them niggas informant too, bro. Because we know if they can flip one of you bird niggas to turn into a informant, and they know birds niggas of a feather flock together, they can get the rest of the homies to turn like that. And if you this nigga homie and you mad at what I'm saying, nigga, don't don't address me about it. Go address that nigga about it. You know the nigga that's about to get a W two in February, bro. Don't don't get mad at Bless One for that. I done heard everything from all you street niggas. Talking all this extra nigga like I ain't from that because a nigga did a, a blogging video, which I'm the only nigga that hold the code with that camera. There ain't been one nigga getting indicted off my video. I done made millions of views and didn't even get paid for them at the time because the nigga wasn't even monetized, bro. And still going hard in the paint. I ain't spit no narrative, didn't instigate no beef, and didn't get nobody in trouble with my work. But to hear you niggas, so about you a blogging ass nigga, and then these bitch niggas become some blogging ass niggas. I ain't no blogger. I'm just a nigga on YouTube. You niggas is the bloggers. You niggas is the Wendy Williams. Because you, you, you allowed that type of behavior, bruh. You niggas accepted it. You know how you accept it? Getting on panels with goofies like that. Vouching for niggas like that, getting mad at real ones like me with y'all diva Beyonce antics, but sucking up on dudes like that. It tell me everything about you niggas, bro. I'm more really and G to five than all you dudes out there, bro. And I'm not a gangster. I'm a father of a hundred kids, bro. I'm a father, bro. I don't got to claim none of that. You niggas can have all them weirdo titles you niggas be calling yourself. Because it's always you niggas who call yourselves that flipping on each other, rolling over on each other. You niggas ain't certified. Certified something else we can't say on YouTube, bruh. Trench News ain't no goddamn hero, bruh. He's a scavenger and a vagabond, a motherfucking bum that roams place to place. You ain't got no home, boy. Everywhere you go, you done flip on them folks, bruh. You probably got the old lady house bust down, bruh, just on your lies and decrepit views of life, bruh. Everything ain't about money every goddamn day. Go get your bag. I ain't no preacher. Get your bag. You need money, but damn, bruh. Certain things you got, bruh. If, if everything was about money, my channel would be at a million subscribers, and I'll be doing what you fuck niggas do, bruh. I'm going to say that again, bruh. If everything was for a price, nigga, I'll be at a million subscribers and doing what you fuck niggas doing right now, bro. I'm blackballed from YouTube for a reason because I spit that piff, bruh. Real nigga with the spill, not gossip with the tea, bruh. Factual, bruh. Real ones that, that, that done tapped in with a real one, bro. I done tapped in with them real ones in the sip from Arkansas to Bama, bro. Atlanta, Columbus, Georgia, Macon, bruh. We can keep going. Valadosa, bruh. Oh, the entire state of Florida. I ain't even capping on that one, bruh. And you niggas sit home, sit in some type of basement, telling street struggle stories, nigga. Like, we all don't come from that. Shut the fuck up, bruh. 
I get on YouTube to holler at some hoes, to watch some comedy, and see some niggas to share a story that I could listen to and use that as a tool to go change some other nigga life. You feel me? Shit like that, bro. Not listen to a goofy nigga wearing a mask like he a WWF wrestling character and shit, bro. I don't care if you got real stripes out here, boy. That don't mean nothing to none of us, bro. To them goofy niggas in the suburbs, they care about your weak stripes, bro. Nigga, all that shit erasing. The, 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 the Fab Five in Michigan, bro, when Chris Rebber called that timeout and them boys done messed up and lost the national championship, it don't, almost don't count, nigga. So fuck your street fame, bro. You done got the whole hood indicted. How the hell I'm more mad than most folks who supposed to be more mad at you, bro? The whole game jacked up. I don't want none of my kids to be in the streets, bro. If they do anything that they daddy used to do, bro, I'm going to be disappointed and I'm going to be ashamed, bro. Because your dad was lost following some other goofy niggas. And by the way, the same goofy niggas I followed and skipped school and all that with was the same niggas snitching on me, bro. Factual. Real story, bro. Certified nigga, these niggas fold before the interrogation room, bruh. He said it was his mama's car, his auntie purse. That's what we tried to take it. What? Me and me, me and the fucking undercover detective looking at each other like this goofy nigga here, bruh. And they gave me my props for being more solid than so-called street niggas. Dog. Like, hey, man, get fuck out of here with that, man. This trench news ain't nothing surprising, bro. Go look at all the rats in America, bro. Forget about any other... Look at all the goddamn rats and informants in America. It's always a certified individual, right? Real nigga story, ain't it? That, that, that's it, bro. I ain't no real nigga, bro. I'm just a real man. Because you niggas made real nigga... Real nigga in 2002 ain't the same thing no more in 2023, bro. I'm just a real man, bro. Solid. I'm keeping my word, twin. You feel me, bro? Nigga can't take that from me on YouTube. All you weirdo content creators, nobody be going at me like that. A nigga do pull up for real, bro. And I don't, I don't want no props for that, bro. Go ask all your favorite battle rappers when I was... Bro, I'm one of the fathers of this battle rap blogging shit, bro. I, I, I turned the bitch up and I left that hole and came in this lane. Every lane I done been in, I made a name for myself, nigga. Because when you is that nigga and you is yourself, vibration go to you, bro. You can't fake that, bro. It's niggas who don't like me right now on YouTube, but they fuck with a nigga, bro. They know they see me in real life. We'll get a drink or something. And if we got to shoot a fade, we'll shoot a fade then. And we'll go out on our merry way, bruh. Nigga ain't thinking about me like that. The stained DJ Bless one, bruh. I'm the last of a dying breed in this motherfucker, bruh. Y'all need to stop looking up to people, bruh. Look at yourself in the mirror, bro. And, and, and love that motherfucker splitting image of that hero you see in yourself, bruh. I look at me and I'm like, nigga, you a role model. DJ Bless one, man, I'm that nigga for real, bruh. Where all these so-called titans done fell down, it's always a real dude like me rising up and taking that challenge of, I'm just going to stick to my lane. I don't care if I got 10 people on my live streams, 30 million in my line. You, gonna, you, you get the same energy from me. These niggas switch up. They energy switch up with the views, bruh. That mean these bird-ass niggas change with the seasons, bruh. Bird-ass niggas, y'all follow cock-a-doodle. Dude type looking goofy niggas, goof troop niggas. Get a gangster nigga starter kid, put tats everywhere on themselves. So I got a lot of tattoos too, but, but but let's keep it real. Nigga take a they take our life and make it culturally cool. Nigga got good moms and dad and all that, bro. I got a good mom and dad. I'm just born in the trenches, bro. Nigga can't even say that. My mom was a good, sweet lady. My daddy was a good dad. Nigga gotta be all extra witty. Oh, I got this record. Nigga, um, you click on the IG live. Nigga telling whole world stories and shit like, as if the feds ain't listening to all this. That's how I know you's a ho-ho. I done been around them real ones. They ain't my family. I done grew up with these niggas. We all done grew up with the real killers and all that. Niggas don't glorify that. They do what they got to do and mind their own business, allegedly. You feel me? Niggas is eating cereals, watching cartoons, still going to the bowling alley, still playing basketball at the park. And here come these niggas on online thugged out niggas. These niggas so over thugged out, nigga. Every day you see my videos in the trenches. Facts. You see all different people around DJ Bless One. You don't see me hiding in this motherfucker. And we don't call that bitch outside. It's everyday life. Everyday life, bruh. Come on, gangster. That ain't cool, bruh. It's one thing to be mad if I'm calling out a snitch. Then y'all got a right to be mad at me because people got a right to be a rat-ass nigga if they choose to. Or if they're a civilian, that ain't even snitching. That's just them doing their due diligence. So don't confuse the two with what Trench News did. He is a bird-ass nigga. That was looking out for his own interest. He didn't care about protecting the community. No, none of that. He said, how much money you got? And I got this for you. That's it. 
That's it. Everybody can agree with that. I don't care what walks of life you come from. Nobody want a Benedict Arnold nigga around them, bro. Bird ass nigga. See, a snitch is different. He dangerous to the dummies who choose to follow him. You dig what I'm saying? But an informant, bro, he use every resource that that government is giving to him to bring you down. That means even if you innocent, mama getting arrested, grandmama getting arrested, nephew getting arrested, off the words of this snake ass nigga, the court holds highly. Even the even the police and the FBI don't like these informant ass. They respect the snitch more than the informant. Why do you think they expose Trace News, bruh? They done got tired with that boy. We've been dealing with this bird ass nigga for 10 years. This nigga will get on his knees for loose change. Bruh, 25,000, bruh? 25,000 to the hood is a lot. But a nigga in Trace News position is not, bro. We can get that. Just, all you do, all you need is like three good stories with a hundred some thousand views each and trickling with the RPM and CPM of YouTube, bro. You'll get that like that. So that nigga, I, I can understand a thirsty ass nigga who not in position. I'ma still look at him bad. But this nigga getting cash from YouTube and he still choose to roll like that. And you nigga, bro, I'm looking, bro. I'm still seeing goofy niggas in this nigga comment section, bro. I'm about to make, I should make a whole video looking at these bird ass niggas. But chances are, if that nigga's informing, these bird ass niggas using fake accounts anyways. So why bother, bro? You feel me? Why bother, bro? Next time you, you gonna see DJ Bless one getting a goddamn... I don't want to beef with homie, bro. Chess News can make a hundred videos about a nigga, bro. If I make any videos about him, I'm only talking about one subject: him being a bird ass informant ass nigga. I don't need to. I don't need nothing against this nigga, bro. He can expose my family, all that. I'm not gonna have no comeback other than nigga, you an informant. You win, bro. We ain't going back and forth. I already don't go back and forth with you goofy niggas online, bro. You, if it's like that, it'll happen, bro. We'll collide, nigga. Cars got to crash at one point in time, right? Well, the world ain't that big, nigga. We'll, we'll run into each other, bro. I don't do the goofy back and forth. Anti niggas done seen them indictments in the whole neighborhood. A goofy nigga like you get the whole block locked up. And y'all cheerleaders of him gonna be in the comment section. There ain't nothing wrong with that. He's solving violence. Shut the fuck up. It be innocent people getting arrested behind these goofy niggas. Goofy niggas saying anything to get that loose change and make himself look at, and the state know they lying, but the state want you innocent folks out the way too. So they use these informants to eliminate you and what you got going. You got a thriving business in the neighborhood, independent. They take an informant to lie. Oh, he pushing weight in there. Give the nigga some drugs. He befriends you and he put the drugs inside that facility. They said it was y'all, y'all's and all of y'all's. Now it's an indictment. Motherfuckers took all possession of everything you got, nigga. I know this, bruh. Factual, bruh. Every organization we done had to give us some type of strength and community uh, motivation, bruh. They done brought informant rat-ass niggas like Trench News to disrupt things, bruh. That's why I'm trying to tell you there's a difference from a rat and snitch and an informant, bro. All lose honor, but at least you can cope with the other things. You can understand it. An informant is something beyond a virus, bruh. A vagabond that jumps in different places, bruh. That's a virus that can't be eradicated, bro, no matter how hard you try. And it only spreads like wildfire, bro, because the homies look at that and follow the trend. It's all cool. Oh, let's be quiet about it and, and pretend it ain't going on, even though the whole fucking world know this goofy wrestler with the mask on look like a goddamn piata. And no candy going to come out of that piñata. Nothing but fucking a whole lot of cheese and Cheetos, bro. Whole type activity, bro. Like, I'm this nasty, bro. I'm going to be the biggest goofy on the internet, and I'm going to stick to that, nigga. I'm going to be rolling, laughing about everything. I don't want to hear no thug shit in my comments. None, none of that in my presence. I'm starting to believe you over-thugged out street niggas is the most cancerous rats of them all, bro. Even all rats got to die. Even mess up. Fuck all that goofiness, bro. Nobody got to die. Niggas just got to stand on their two feet and call out a informant when you see one and quit capping and picking and choosing with y'all selective politics. Because you this nigga groupie, you want to pretend you mad at me for saying the same thing your goofy leader, Trench News, been saying about everybody else. I done seen that man call everybody a fucking rat, bruh. Let's get to that. I done met that man calling everybody and their mama a rat. What you niggas say about that? He done called everybody you could name a rat ass nigga. A pass here, a pass there, because it's trans news. Because he looked like he liked that, right? He got struggle stories. I could tell you niggas, man, I'm going to fall back from that, bro. I'm going too deep with this, bro. At the end of the day, bro, 
I'm right again about you weird niggas on YouTube. All you niggas with motion on YouTube who people love. This nigga here got the tattoo. This nigga here got, he got the street. Like, shut up, bunch of groupie. If, if I look at that, down on that nigga, how you think I look at you groupies of these niggas? Pathetic individuals, the worst of the worst, bro. No wonder you niggas crying to God every day. Help me, Lord. I can't get this money, Lord. Because you follow goofy niggas like that. You look up the clowns like that and try to holler at real ones like me and call me out. Nigga, give me my fucking flowers, bro. I've been solid on YouTube on multiple platforms for over a decade. You ain't never seen these flaws in me. Not one time, I. These niggas be getting pass after pass. No gymnastic because it's like elastic. It got to bounce back. No pause with you niggas. Ain't no pause with you niggas.